That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. So it would seem. This is a modified Buzz Chef Pina Colada. We are using a Spice Drum instead of the typical Malibu. And with that, you would want pineapple juice and also uh, coconut cream. And it's just gonna get something that's smoothie-esque or milk nog-esque, and it tastes good. Now this is about two shots of uh, Spice Rum to everything else in here. And we're gonna get started with the wings. So for the wing, we're gonna make a rum glaze first. We have about a teaspoon of salt, we have a teaspoon of chili powder in here, and we have three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. So we're gonna put that in our pan over like a medium heat. Then we're gonna add in two cups of rum. Yeah, listen to that. We'll add some butter to it, and we'll make it all nice and sexy. All right, our Rum glaze has reduced down to about half. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off the heat. We're gonna add in two tablespoons of butter and we're gonna mix that in. All right, so we have our dry seasoning for our wings here. Now, not drunk yet. We got a bunch of mix of different spices. So we have brown sugar, salt, pepper, we have coriander, we have allspice, we have cinnamon. We'll list it down below for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix that all up together, and then we're gonna toss our wings in here, and we're just gonna give them a generous coat with this on all sides. So how are we all doing tonight, hmm? Should I crowdsource like Emerald? Woo! Where are we from? We got anyone from Long Island? <laughs> Alright, now that our oil's on the temperature, we're gonna drop our wings in. And we're gonna let them fry. We're gonna do this probably in a batch of three. Listen to that sizzle. Throw some in, and while we wait, we're gonna finish our drink. It's not good. Good. Not good. Now our wings are done. Throw your wings in the glaze. You're just gonna turn them in the pan. And you just wanna get a nice coating. And then I like to, once they're coated, line them back up on the tray. And alcohol is your friend. You'll just have a little glaze left over. I like to just, you know, pour that over top. Yeah, we're just gonna pop this in the oven. Like five minutes, 3.50. When we come back, we'll be a little fuller and a little drunker. So find your happiness. Mine's in this class. All right, our wings have been in for five minutes or maybe 15, we kind of lost track. Uh, but they're good. They got a real nice glaze to them, as you can see. And I mean, I would love to just share these wings with someone I care about deeply and hold near and dear to my heart. And that person is my sous chef. Izzo. Izzo could come out here so we can share these wings. Arr. You're not yes. Izzo. This is a pirate Susie, everyone. She has, what do you have? Arr, cataracts. Cataracts. Susie would love to see again, but what she loves even more than seeing is taking shots of rum. Oh, there's, a, there's a shot. Cheers. 
let's uh, dig in on, on the wing. Let's dig in on the wing. Here you go. That's really hot. But, you know, let's eat this for the camera. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> vegetarian. <laughs> well, we will come back and can we see you. <laughs> All right, now that our appetizer is done, we are going to finish our drink. There's an ice cube in there. All right, scallywag Susan, get these wings out of here. We're going to move on to the main course. So we're just gonna get a little olive oil. We're gonna put it in our pan, set to a medium heat. So this is what we have here, tilapia, nothing wrong with it. We're just gonna get a little salt. We're just gonna salt pepper this and then hit it with some Cajun seasoning. There's some fresh cracked black pepper too. Get some Cajun seasoning. Hit that with it. Make it all nice and sexy like. Butter is amazing. If you don't like butter, you're probably deathly allergic to it. We're gonna put it in our butter oil sauce. Listen to this. Only thing better than that is bacon on a Sunday morning. Because you know if you're cooking bacon, you ain't going to church because it's too good. Yeah, we're cooking fish, we're drinking alcohol, rum. It's, it's nice, dude. So all our fish are now cooked, and as you can see, they got a nice little, little, little crust to them. We're gonna set these aside, and we're gonna start working on our chutney with the same pan. So just first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna deglaze the pan with a little bit of the spice drum. And now, if I could have Scallywag Susan and Dave the Drinker come on, thank you. And these are gonna be our ingredients for the chutney, Dave the Drinker. Now, Dave, the drinker, you're gonna want a drink, right? No? Sound like Susan, you want a drink? How about a shot of rum? One shot. One shot. Dave, the drinker, Scallywag like Susan, hands. Just no one holds like that. <laughs> all right, cheers to all of us. To rum, to food, to friendship, to happiness, to all ten of my turtles, Stewie, Kit Kat. Diablo, Paul, Mel, Carl, Dodge, Stinky, Sheldon, and Kit Kat. Get out! Go! Be gone! So, now that we've deglazed a little bit with some rum, we're going to get a little olive oil, you know, deglaze a little bit with that as well. And then we're gonna add in our currants. Yellow pepper, it's like red or green pepper, but it's yellow. We added in some yellow onion. Then we added in some minced garlic. Boom! Man says that, Emerald, my hero. Grew up watching him. And now we're just gonna kind of saute that all. <laughs> the human torch could not receive a bank loan. Jessica Alba and Dr. Professor Fantastic never kissed in the Fantastic Four. It's the most romantic thing you've ever said to me. Alright, so our chutney is getting there. Our onions are starting to get to a nice golden brown color. So now what's going to happen is, I'm going to take a drink, first and foremost. But now I'm gonna ask for a scallop like Susan and Drinker Dave to come on with my rest of the ingredients. All right, nice. Woo! All right, so we got some brown sugar, we got some canned pineapple, some white balsamic vinegar, and some quarter cherry tomatoes. Pour that pineapple in. White balsamic vinegar adds some sexiness to there. We got some tomatoes. Gonna add those in as well. Take a drink. And then we're gonna add some brown sugar. Something you want to drink your day? Shot. You want a shot? Alright, did someone say shots? Alright, cheers. Cheers. Beautiful. 
Flavor is king. And the only thing better than flavor is alcohol. Drink some with me now. Now what we want to do now is we want to scoop out the chutney. We're going to scoop it all out. And then once we have that stuff, oh shit, I'm spilling everywhere. I did not realize I was that intoxicated. Your Honor, I'm going to play the fifth. You ever watch Pokemon and there's Machamp and he has four hands? Like that's how many hands you need to be an adequate cook. You're just gonna add a little rum. So you're, we're gonna add a quarter cup of rum here to our little, our little saucy sauce, sauce, sauce. All right, and we're gonna go boom. And if this was an open flame, it would've been like, but we don't have that. So just imagine, baby. Yeah, Machamp, best Pokemon out there. Yeah. Alcohol. We're gonna take out our tilapia and we're just gonna, you know, scoop it up and we're just gonna put it back in this like rum glaze and we're just gonna kind of baste it. We're gonna take our spatula, we're gonna get our fish with our rum glaze, okay, we're gonna put it on our plate we're just gonna get our our pineapple rum chutney. And we're just gonna put it put it over top, and that's it. And it's sweet AF. Just gotta take it from me. Take it from me. We're making a rum cake now in a pirate ship mold that I got from DJ Max. Oh! So what we're doing is we're getting a yellow cake mix, opening it up, and we're just dumping it in our bowl or pot because we ran out of bowls. We're gonna do a packet of yellow or a pudding, vanilla pudding. Pour that in too. Now you're saying, Sean, where's this recipe come from? It comes from my grandmother, and that lady made wedding cakes for a living. She was a wonderful woman. So leave good notes in the comments. I love her, I miss her. Mom, mom, this is for you. Half cup. Yeehaw. Three eggs go in this bitch. And just being good with your eggs is like being good with the children of the world. So three eggs go in here. And uh, you sit, may say, Sean, that's a lot of protein in there. And you may say, yeah. <laughs> Waste not, want not. Protein is good. And we're gonna mix this up. Now what we'll do is we'll walk off screen, we'll get some butter, and we're gonna butter the F out of our cake pan. Like, grease it like a hog, baby. That's a lot of rum we drank and juice today. <laughs> Where's the flour? Get some flour. You know, we wanna coat this the scallywag. Now one thing you don't realize is how did that, uh, the basilisk get out of the Chamber of Secrets? Just like, how did no one notice, like, ever? First of all, there's a giant chamber underneath the bathrooms. We're gonna pour our cake mix into the pan. Alright, now that our cake is in the pan, we're gonna put it in the oven. 350 for about an hour, maybe more. We're gonna take our rum cake, hot. We're making a glaze. We got a quarter pound of butter. We're just gonna measure out 
A cup of brown sugar. Boom! Pour it in there. All right, guess what else we got now? A quarter cup of water coming at you. Oh, then we're gonna do a half cup of the rum. And then what you do is you get it and you go swish, swish, swish. We're just gonna take this and we're gonna move it quickly. Now we're just gonna get like little skewers and we're just gonna go around our cake and we're just gonna prick it. I said, hey, what's going on? So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of the glaze just over my cake. You can flip it out onto its surface. Boom. Just like that. It's a pirate ship. Look at that, look at that. It's a pirate ship. You, you didn't think it looked that sexy, did you? I did, I thought it looked sexy. And we're gonna pour it over the glaze. You can start making masks. See this? You can make whatever sale you like. Pirate ships are dope. Game of Thrones, Jon Snow, do more. Do more, man. Kill, kill the Night King. Pokemon, stop, stop changing voice actors. Just leave, leave them as is. Pokemon's amazing. Rum was the spiced alcohol we use today, and that's all we got. Mm. Go birds. Just ignore him. So, our chicken is done. We're gonna let it rest for a little bit. 